everyone, I'm Delian and in this video I want to show you uh, the results from more than 6 months now uh, experiment with my nano ecosystem or complete nano ecosystem and by saying complete nano ecosystem I mean that uh, the experiment in this with this tank was that by imitating the nature you bring in it many species and uh, everything together in order to create a little ecosystem which will be independent from the outside world and it's working just fine and I want to share with you uh, the key for the success and um, how I collected everything and how it's not necessary to maintain it because the nature is built in such a way from the creator to maintain itself so let me show you how I did it and here it is the main display and again I don't have any fish or big animals because it was just an experimental tank and I don't need to be produced uh, a lot of waste and uh, ammonia in the tank so I have just one shrimp, uh, two crabs and few hermit crabs and many many tiny species and here it is an uh, uh, improvised pump with a air wooden air stone which is elevating the water uh, and letting it flowing onto a algae scrubber which in the same time is uh, creating a shade for the biomedia in order not to grow algae on it it should be in a dark place so it's protecting it from the light that's very good use of every square inch in the aquarium here we see the biomedia NH4 is ammonia uh, which is uh, the nitrifying bacteria living in these sponges and biomedia here which you see so um, it's developing this pr chemical process there and after the ammonia goes to nitrites then uh, the water goes through these uh, broken uh, coral pieces which are enriching the water of uh, calcium in order to provide more calcium for the calcium consumers as uh, such as uh, the shrimp and the crabs and the mushrooms in the aquarium the next chamber which is so called moving bed filter for those of you that uh, are, don't know how is it, is it working it's actually a plastic bottle full with the biomedia or just a small plastic pieces which are providing a surface for the uh, nitrifying bacteria to grow on it but the difference between this biomedia and the regular one is that this one is floating all the time in the water and hitting each other and in order to to let just only the toughest uh, species of the bacteria to to colonize on the surface of, of, of it and so because only the toughest bacteria is growing there when appears some ammonia or certain some nitrites there they are very quick destroyed uh, or turned into a nitri nitrates which are beneficial for the plants and ve the vegetation and not so uh, dangerous for the fish and the other uh, uh, aquarium inhabitants so this is pretty much how is it working and then we're coming to the next chamber which is the refugium and although I have just a few small plants uh, I was just able to collect so much the last day from our last vacation and that was my opportunity to collect the the everything what I put it, put it in that tank but that's all right because I have not so much uh, 
uh, living creatures in that aquarium. I have so much life in the aquarium, but uh, not uh, so much big animals which are um, which have uh, so much waste. And here it comes to the activated carbon. Above it, I put some sponge uh, with a pretty large hose of it in it in order to release and to let the whole uh, zooplankton and living creatures they are circulating in, in the in any chamber where they want to be because I was trying to imitate exactly how the nature is and in the nature uh, the zooplankton is everywhere and everyone can go wherever it wants so I don't want to stop anyone even between the carbon and the pump there is a space and the activated carbon is there because it uh, it is actually helping to the chemistry reaction in the water to, to go uh, quicker it's catalyzator or something like that I don't know the word exactly in English um, so this is how it works the pump from the last chamber is pumping the water back into the main display and so the water is circulating many many times I wasn't cal calculating but uh, the quantity of the water in that tank is not so much so the pump is making it uh, goes for many times and in the tank I'm telling you earnestly I'm um, founding almost every day a new species species um, most of it small and tiny but uh, just I'm amazed and surprised every day how much life in it there is and the explanation for this is as I said already that it comes there directly straight from the nature from the Mediterranean Sea so let me show you how I collected some of these species and here we are in the beautiful sea Mediterranean Sea in the clear water during our last day from the vacation my friends helped me to collect some species for the ecosystem and uh, to be honest I was digging for a long time in the subject and making research uh, what I will need in order to be build such a uh, ecosystem and maybe in another video I will cover uh, what I found out but I will say now that just the secret is briefly imitate the nature what God did uh, imitate it and you will have the key for success so I was trying to collect as many as possible different species in order to enrich my you know the life in that aquarium uh, because every single species have its own uh, place in the whole ecosystem it's doing important work for the chemistry and for the life what I know I don't know everything but just because I don't have the proper knowledge I'm taking it and I hope it will work because it's working in the nature uh, do you see these fishes? They was following us all the time when we was turning upside down a, ca a certain stone and or a rock, and from under it it's coming all with all the goodness for them. I mean, they was having real feast uh, around us because under the rocks actually are living so much creatures. You're not seeing them just by swimming above them, by snorkeling and so many colors and uh, mushrooms and life is coming out of it so it was nice just to collect them and here they are 
in the aquarium more than half a year later everything living so good and looking like it's they're feeling just fine that shrimp that you can see was much much smaller when I caught it and mm, it was changing three times its shell just like the rest of the crabs and first time when I saw its shell uh, I thought oh no the shrimp died but then I see it's bigger same thing happened with the crab <laughs> those hermit crabs they're really funny everything in that aquarium was growing with the time and as I said the, the shrimp was changing its shell the or I don't know how it's called it its skin just was falling or something but the crabs same thing but with the hermit crabs you don't see them sh changing their shells because they're, they're actually not having their own shell they're borrowing from someone or stealing and I saw them in this light really as a deeps as a stealers because when they was growing it was obviously obviously too narrow their their own shell was too narrow so I started searching for opportunity to give them something bigger and uh, as when I received the as a gift a few shells I was happy to give them the opportunity to, to move to the new address to take their new shells and <laughs> but that was a competition they was running and taking the biggest one and trying to fit in it and although struggling after oh to move with the new biggest shell because uh, it's heavier of course and it's hard for them to move with so big shell but they prefer the biggest they, they're not trying to fit in something what is all right for them to carry it <laughs> they are greedy these crabs these hermit crabs that's why I'm telling we can learn something from them from the creation sometimes the people are the same we're just we're just buying or trying to achieve uh, such a goal big goals big house big car or big engine car or even for the daily decisions that we're taking but once we have it we wasn't thinking about how we will cope with the you know the more fuel that it will need that bigger engine or you got the idea right so next time when you you're about to buy something and you're you have to take a decision the smaller or the bigger one should I take just think about my hermit crabs and you may take the, the right decision <laughs>